When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, it's a mentality. It's a way of life. It's, a, it's, it's what, how you eat, how you think, how you sleep, how, how you dream. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, it's not some philosophy or some idea. It's what I breathe, it's life. And so what I need you to understand is, guys, when you talk about being the best of the best, you're talking about will now. You're talking about art now. You're not talking about physicality. You're not talking about how you look. You're not talking about how strong you are. You're not talking about how tall you are, how fit you are. You're talking about will. You're talking about when you get to the point where it's two people and somebody got to tap out before the other person taps out. Will. Hearts. And so it is a mentality. There was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money and so he went to this guru, right? He told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach at 4 a.m. I said, I want to make money. I don't want to swim. The guru said, if you want to make money, I'll meet you tomorrow at 4 a.m. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He already ready to rock and roll, got on the suit, should have worn shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. So he walks out into the water. Watch this. When he walks out to the water, it goes waist deep. So he like, this guy crazy. Hey, he like, I'm going to make money. He got me out here swimming. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. He got me in. So he said, come out a little further. Walked out a little further. Then he had it right around in this area. The shoulder area. So this old man crazy. He made money with him crazy. He said, come on out a little farther. He came out a little farther. He was right at his mouth. My man like, I'm about to go back here. This guy is mine. So the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He said, walk a little farther. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, hold him down. My man didn't scratch it, hold him down. I got you. I know you brushed it out, but I got you. He had him held down. I need you for illustration. He had him held down just before my man was about to pass out. He raised him up. He said, I got a question for you. Somebody asked me a question for me. He said, when you were underwater, what did you want to do? Lee, I'm looking for a different word, though. What's that word? He said, I wanted to breathe. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, SOB, shortness of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you will have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you got to want it. You got to go days without, listen to me, you got to want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. And I'm here to tell you today, if you got to, somebody came to my office the other day crying. I said, look, don't cry to give up, cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. Listen to me. I'm here to tell you today that you can come here. You can jump up. You can do flips. You can be excited when we give away money. But listen to me. You will never be successful until I don't have to give you a dime to do what you do. You won't be successful until you say, I don't need that money. Because I got it in here. Set. Somebody came up to me. He said, E.T., man, I'm tired, E.T. I'm tired, E.T. I put in the work, E.T. I'm not seeing the results, E.T. I'm ready to give up, E. I'm ready to give in, E. Come on, E. You, I did what you told me to do. I read the book you told me to read. I put in the hours you told me to put in. E, I'm doing it, and I'm not seeing anything. Listen to me closely. Listen to me closely. When you
you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, I'm telling you, I can't explain it to you. But doors start opening, opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit during the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. What you gotta do is champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. That's the difference between the greats. That's, that's what separates them. When they don't have no more, when it's over, when they're tired, when they're frustrated, when they're ready to give up, when they spent their last dime, that's when they get started. Are you hearing me? It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money, when all your energy gone, when you have nothing left, that's when it's showtime. When you find the way out of no way, when you find breath that you don't have, when you find energy that did not exist, when you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you find a way. Listen to me, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, when you ain't got nothing left in your tank, you got to think about the people in your life that you're doing this for. And then if you could think about them, you could go one more mile. You could go one more day at work. You can find a, you can find a scholarship. Listen to me, when you're doing it for somebody else, when you like that lion, if I don't grind, if we don't grind, if I don't grind, they don't eat. The truth is, you got to find something within. You got to find something within and that's got to push you and that's got to elevate you and that's got to drive you and that's got to move you. And when you find out what your why is and your why got to be deeper than you, when you find your why, you don't hit snooze no more. When you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. You see, you see, this is why I work. This is why I grind. This is why I work. This is why I grind. This is why I work. This is why I grind. This is why I hustle.